My name is Krishnendu Sadukhan. I work in the Sonic Statistics Kernel Group. And uh, so I'm going to talk about the performance, hardware performance counters that the AMD Shanghai Barcelona platforms bring about to us and uh, what we have done to enable those counters on, um, on the Solaris front. So uh, basically, um, the AMD Shanghai or Barcelona platform brings about uh, four 48-bit uh, performance counters. And, uh, and our Solaris software actually enables different events using those uh, performance counter registers. Um, and we also have four different uh, event select registers um, that can control those performance counters. So we have four performance counters and we have four event select registers that control those performance counters. And we have a whole list of events um, that we can use to uh, get system data. Uh, for example, we can use those counters to know how many uh, times we access memory, how many times uh, we access L1 cache or L2 caches, or how many times L1 caches or L2 caches are flossed and things like that. So um, basically, uh, uh, there's a, a PCB backend, which is used by the PCB libcpc library. And we have a couple of commands in the user land that access that library in order to uh, get to uh, uh, the PCB to the higher level. And uh, so basically, we have two commands, uh, CPU stat and CPU track. Uh, that users can use in order to um, get performance data out of the system on Shanghai and Barcelona platforms. Um, and I can show you uh, how to use those commands and we can uh, look at some of the example outputs. So here I'm showing uh, the CPC, I'm sorry, CPU stack command. Use the CPU stack minus H command to um, get a list of events that the Shanghai or the Barcelona platform support. So here we see the list of events that user can use to get system data. Or alternately, the user can also use the CPU track command to get the same list of events that they can use to get system data. So now I'm going to show you how uh, you can use CPU stack to know how many times the instruction cache has been evicted. So I'm using the performance counter number two here, as you can see, pick two, and I'm running the command now. So now we see here, uh, we're using pick two here, performance counter number two, and we, we're getting the data. For example, um, CPU four, CPU five, uh, there, this many times the cache has been evicted, and it continues to do it because I didn't specify any number. So it continues to uh, get system data. So now I'm going to show you how you can use CPU stat to um, get system data for a particular um, application process. So now here on, on the left window, I'm running a particular process, a.out, which is memory intensive, which access a memory every time in a loop. And on the right, I am actually binding that particular process. I got the PID of the process through pgrep. And there I have bound that particular uh, process to processor number four here so that I can know which processor is, is getting more memory accesses, uh, doing more memory um, uh, actions. So now here I have bound the process to a particular processor. And now I'm going to run the CPU start command to know how many times we're accessing memory uh, for that particular processor. Now, as you can see, we got the first output here. Uh, if you look at processor number four here, uh, we get a very huge number, which is 387,000 compared to others. And each in each output, we see that uh, for processor number four, we get a very huge value. This is because this application is running here, and we have bound that process to uh, that particular processor. Now I'm going to show you, if I'm going to kill that process here in the left window, uh, so that process is now out. And uh, now if we could get the uh, look at the next output, you see that for processor number four, the output value is much less. Now, if you look at four here, it's only 64 compared to others where we had 36,000 or more. 
So this is how we can actually use uh, CPU stat to get the, the, the performance counter values from the AMD Shanghai and Barcelona processors. So now I'm going to show you how you can use the other user line command, which is CPU track, to track a particular application. The one that I showed you before was for any uh, applications on the system, just to get the general data. Now this particular command, which is CPU track, can be used for a particular application. For example, here on the left, I'm running the same old um, application error out, which is memory intensive. And on the right, I'm using the CPU track command here to track that particular application. Now, the PID is that one of that error out, which I got through uh, pgrep. So now I'm actually executing CPU track to know how many times that particular application is accessing memory. So let me run that command. And here I'm using the performance counter number zero by default. And now here we see the different numbers that we're getting. So those numbers actually indicated that uh, how many times that particular ADART out is accessing memory. So uh, this gives us an idea of how much the system is busy and how much that application is using the system. So the Shanghai and Barcelona platform actually brings us a whole new set of new performance counters which are not available before. And uh, by virtue of Open Solaris, you can, you can now use those hardware counters to track your systems uh, in a much better way than you could in, in the past.